Hello, PHS. I'm Curtis Kreider. And I'm Ashton Bird. And we are absolutely ecstatic to present you with this week's episode of Cougar Media News. The main ideas that you'll take away from this episode are chicken and sports. Name a more iconic duo. I'll wait. What are your plans post-graduation? Do you plan on going to college, entering the workforce, enlisting, or going to a trade school? Celebrate your graduation and share your future plans as a class on National Decision Day. Seniors participating will decorate a Decision Day t-shirt to reflect his or her future plans. Seniors will wear and participate in National Decision Day activities on May 1st. The cost is $7.50 per shirt and the first 25 shirts ordered are free. Checks should be made payable to Palmyra High School Student Council. Order your Decision Day t-shirt before April 10th. This week on Ask Your Parents for More Money, consider buying the chicken barbecue to support the football team. For the price of a DVD box set of Stranger Things Seasons 1 and 2, you can get half a chicken and a baked potato, and the satisfaction of making Sharon Benner proud. That's $7.50 for what I like to call an ideal Saturday night. That's Saturday the 6th from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. at the Campbelltown American Legion. I sure know where I'm getting my half chicken and a baked potato this Saturday. Speaking of Saturday, do you have any plans for this weekend? You do now. Forget the Pythagorean theorem and make room for spring sports times and locations for the end of the week in chronological order. Tonight we have girls softball at home at 415. If softball isn't your thing, but you still want to support Title IX, check out the girls lacrosse game at 415, also tonight at End the Net. Wake up early Saturday morning and bring your half chicken and a baked potato to the boys lacrosse game at 10 a.m. at In the Net. Boys volleyball plays Tuesday the 8th at 6.15 at the high school, and the boys tennis plays the next day at 4 p.m., which is at home. The last event of the week is boys and girls track at the middle school on Thursday. Thanks for the info, Curtis. Now let's hear about the past sports happenings from our in-house expert, Anthony. Our spring sports team have been starting off this season strong. Boys tennis kicked off the spring season early and are 5-2. and two. They beat State College for the first time in school history on March 18th. Boys baseball and girls softball both swung their way to victory so far by beating Susquehanna Township, Lowell Dolphin, and Mechanicsburg. Boys volleyball is also undefeated with three strong wins against Lowell Dolphin, Redland, and Mannheim Township. Boys track won their first meet against Hershey while the girls team fell short. Girls lacrosse has put up a good fight so far this season, but has fallen short in all of their games. Boys lacrosse is 3-1 and one and had a very impressive comeback win against Cumberland Valley. Shout out to all of our spring athletes and keep up the good work. Now back to Curtis and Ashton. Thanks, Anthony. Are you a student athlete thinking that you don't get the recognition you deserve for having such a busy academic and athletic schedule? Are you a student that isn't doing a sport but is just wondering how those superhumans keep their grades up while giving it their all on the field? Well, Angelo, Michael, Mike, Kyle, and Alex have the answers for you. Balancing academics and athletics is a key part for every student athlete. Each student athlete has unique ways of balancing the two, and finding what is most beneficial can be very important in maintaining strong grades while participating in a sport. I play football, I swim, and I play lacrosse. Uh, most of my practices are right after school for football and swimming, but for lacrosse, it uh, ranges from 6 to 8 or 8 to 10. I play baseball, basketball, and football. Uh, my practices are usually after school, except for basketball, we have them at night sometimes. There are 26 school sports offered at Pomeroy High School, counting all boys and girls sports. As well as these school sports, there are other sports that are offered outside of school. The hardest thing between the two is probably all the homework that you get. Um, normally, depending on the classes that you take, you get um, an hour to two hours of homework per night. And with practices, it's hard to get it all done and try to eat and maintain everything that you possibly can. So, Many teachers in this school are also coaches for school sports teams. These teachers can see firsthand the challenges of balancing academics with athletics. I think in season, athletes tend to work a little bit harder because they know they need to meet the academic requirements to, to stay eligible. To be most successful in academics while playing a sport, it is beneficial to create very strong study habits. Reporting for Cougar Media News, this is Mike Petrino, Michael Bell, Alex Patterson, Angelo Savello, and Kyle Wojcicki. Cool. 
And now it's time for the April Cougar Kudo drawing. And the winner is Andrew Brandt for rearranging the classroom. And Emery Lucas for answering a question. Are you running out of games to play on your computer that the IT department hasn't blocked yet? Robbie has the perfect solution. Howdy, I'm Robbie Owens. I'm gonna go ask the kids and maybe some teachers in the school cafeteria about the hit website, Cool Math Games. Let's go. Do you play Cool Math Games? Of course I play Cool Math Games. Who doesn't play Cool Math Games? Yeah. Oh yeah, all the time, more than I play school. I do play cool math games. What's your favorite game on the website? Duck Life 3. <laughs> what is your favorite cool math game? IQ Ball. Why? Because it's fun. I haven't played that in like five years, so I have no idea. Papa's Wingeria. Snake. Uh, rolling Ball or Balloon Tower Defense. I see Rob. Cool Math Games is a very good website, let me tell you. Run and Run 2. Classic games on the website. I'm here with Carter Willard, an esports coach right here. Carter, what's your favorite Cool Math game? Um, I'm more of a chess guy. <laughs> it's like, I like the game. The game's fun, you know. But if I had to say one game that really just excels, excels the rest, Fireboy and Water Girl, man. That takes some skill. It really does. So the popular consensus is Cool Math Games is a pretty cool website. It's got a lot of players, a lot of cool people playing it, and a lot of very unique and different ideas about the whole website. Please don't ban Cool Math Games. It's the best website this school has to offer. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks for the new pastime, Robbie. And last but the most financially significant, let's hear from Cam about this year's prom. Junior Senior Prom is coming right around the corner. Ticket sales start Monday, April 8th, running through May 3rd. This year's prom theme is Starry Night. Tickets are $50 each. Join the upperclassmen May 11th at the Hershey Lodge for the dance and dinner. Doors open at 5.30. We'll see you there. That's it for this week, PHS. And there's only 39 more days of regular classes left for the seniors. Katie, Katie was baseball mad. Had the fever and had it bad. Just to root for the hometown through every two. This program was made possible by viewers like you. Thank you.